Hey everyone, welcome. It's Brian McKenzie, host of Right on Red Podcast. And coming at you tonight with a little bit of confusion in my head because I was just watching some interesting news about the National Guardsmen down in Texas who saved two illegal migrants coming over the river into our country, the southern border, saved their lives. Guess they were having some trouble. He saved their lives. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us because of this. Which you could say, oh, well, he, you know, he was doing a good thing. He's doing his job. What we found out today was that the Texas Rangers have said both of those migrants were involved in drug trafficking and had drugs on them, trafficking them, trafficking them over our border. So that is what that soldier died for. Two drug traffickers breaking international law and our law by coming across the border into a sovereign country, not at a checkpoint, but across the river. And this hero still decided he was going to save their lives because a human life is a human life. And unfortunately, now he's no longer with us. But we do have two new drug traffickers and criminals in our country because of that. So that's a good thing, right? No, it's a piss poor thing. It's disgusting. So, like I said, it's confusing to me how things like that happen. But we'll get to some more stuff in a few minutes. I also got to spend a lot of time today shooting with my brother out on some land of one of our friends. Shooting a scary, scary, scary AR-15 and a 9mm and also a shotgun. Probably the best gun for home defense is a shotgun if you're not a trained marksman. You kind of just aim that way and fire a buckshot and you're going to hit the person. Not that that's what we want to do, but if home defense is home defense. And if that's what you're buying a gun for, that's what you want to do. And what that's what you want to be assured of. If you're looking to just go to the range and shoot and, you know, be able to afford it by buying, because uh, ammunition is expensive, bullets are expensive. You want to be able to afford it and you want to go to the range, you get yourself a nice 22 long gun and rifle and shoot. But that's not going to be the best for home defense. Anyways, we were shooting out there, and one of the the neighbor whose houses aren't really that close together because there's a lot of land, but you know, about a couple hundred feet away, neighbor walks over and ta- starts talking to us about his guns and our guns, and yeah, you know, it's it a great atmosphere. And you know what he said? Not a lot of crime in that town because everyone owns guns believe it was Palmyra is the town here we're at. I mean, New York's a ridiculous state as it is, but it's a very red area over there. And not not, uh, including the tax laws and all the other bullshit that comes with New York State, that is probably one of the better areas to be in in the greater Rochester and suburban rural areas around there. And we shot for a couple hours, and it was fun. It was great. Out in the nice weather, enjoying it. My nephew was there. He's uh, learning to shoot and doing very well. Picked up some uh, cans of Dr. Pepper and used those as our targets. It was nice to watch them go pop and blow up. Because, you know, I, I'm extremely awesome at it. <laughs> Actually, my brother's way better than me. But I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Anyways, it's be great if uh you know you didn't have to jump through hoops to get a handgun as a law-abiding citizen in this country because we all know you can just drive down to inner city of rochester here or buffalo syracuse or wherever you are go into some of the bad parts of the city and you can come home with a handgun tonight if you want they all the bunch of people around there have them i mean we know that because there's shootings every day here but if you want to if you want, as a law-abiding citizen, to have the handgun, no, 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 no. Not in New York. 
You'll be lucky if you get it within the next 10 to 12 months. You'll be lucky if you get it at all, to be honest. I mean, they look at a lot of stuff here. And it's, it's it's insane. You got to get referrals and, and it's, you know, uh, recommendations. And I mean, I, it's crazy. It's crazy. Some state, I mean, I like the constitutional carry states now. I believe Ohio just added on the list. And that's where I'd like to go. Be, uh, get out of here. Get out of New York. This, uh liberal hellhole we're in but uh this is kind of what the shooting sounded like today it was kind of nice scary gun scary gun boys as you can see this one's quite a bit louder it's an ar right there last one was a nine this is an ar That was myself introducing what uh, my brother was shooting. That was about 1 o'clock today when we were out there, 2 o'clock today. Uh, that was an AR he was shooting. Like I said, it was nice and loud. There's another clip of him shooting a 9, which is much more quiet, but that wasn't on there. But, um, again, an AR is just it's just a hunt. It's a hunting rifle. It's a rifle. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's not an assault rifle. It's a rifle. It shoots a two, two, three round, not some crazy missile. I mean, there's a lot of guns that has shoot much bigger rounds. And like I said, if you, I mean, if if you can get shotguns with magazines, you know, you can that that hold nine or ten rounds, and you, you know, you put nine buck shots in the magazine, boom, walk in with a with a pump action shotgun, and they have semi automatic shotguns too. You walk as a kid walks into a school with one of those. Wow, he could take out a whole classroom with two shots. You know, they bunch up all together. He take it out with one shot. So don't don't talk to me like the AR is the, is the, is the problem. It's uh, mental acuity and mental, you know, just the way you know, the, just just the way the kids are raised have been raised over the last twenty years has brought forth more mental illness and and just total disregard for laws and safety and other people and entitlement for yourself. I mean, it's just no accountability, the sense of entitlement. That's what we have now. And the answer to that for the left is to ban guns. Yeah, you know, that's how it goes. If you look, statistically speaking, and the data shows, the science shows, that areas that are concentrated more, that are filled with people who own guns, legal guns, at a higher concentration than, than other areas, per capita, have much less crime. More legal guns, much less crime, especially much less violent crime. Why? Well, it's it's common sense if you think about it. Because Mr. Gang Member isn't going to feel so comfortable breaking into houses when people are able to have arms of their own. And they have, they're able to arm themselves and defend themselves. They're less likely to walk up to, you know, Mr. Smith, who's at an ATM machine getting some money out, and rob him, knowing that it's a constitutional carry state, and a lot of people have a sidearm on them. Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? Because no matter how tough of a gang member you are, you don't want to get killed. And Mr. Smith might pull out his Glock and pop two in you. And suddenly your whole uh, night of robbing people didn't go so well. Is you're having you're you're in this OR having surgery in about twelve minutes from being pronounced dead, all because you decided to rob someone who was carrying a legal firearm. Ah, anyways, we'll get back to some more in a little bit. Take a break right now. Be right back.